guys. How are we doing? Oh, I think, yeah, we're good. All right. So I'm here today with Tiandra, and I'm going to get her changed. It's been a while since y'all have seen her. So I figured that I would bring her on here today, and she's lying on the cute little blanket that came in her box opening. I just really love this blanket, and it still smells like whatever Mia sprayed on her, which smells amazing. So I, I'm going to use it forever. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with whatever the heck <laughs> kind of baby cologne Mia put on this baby because mm. but I thought I would come on today and just get her changed and chat with you guys because it's been a little while and I, I have a bunch of comments to catch up on from my last video which I definitely plan on doing soon but yeah so I wanted to do a tag that I saw going around and I'm trying to remember who started the tag. I didn't see the official tag video. I feel like it was started by Missy Sue Dolls. I believe it's her channel. I'm not subscribed to her, but I think that I'm definitely gonna have to subscribe to her because she seems cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to her when I'm done. But <laughs> um, but yeah, and the tag is, how do you choose your baby names? I'm going to leave her same onesie on. Her onesie is fine, but I am going to change her diaper. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to change her diaper. It looks fine. Yes, it does. Am I going to change her diaper? Yes, I am going to change her diaper. Because I want to hear that sound <laughs> of taking the diaper off. And <laughs> All right, T, let's change your diaper. And you have a wafer in your diaper that is still very much good so I'm going to put it in her new diaper and we'll reuse this one because it's a nice big diaper and I definitely need to get some more diapers for my bigger babies ah yes this wafer is still wafery strong just put it in there Alright, little girl. I like her body. This is the first time I've ever felt her body. And it feels different than my other baby's bodies. It's super soft. Oh my goodness. I can feel in her side there's a little beanie sack, I guess, where the glass beads are. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever really undressed Tiandra this much. So I've never felt her body, but feeling this body, I'm sorry if this sounds really creepy, but <laughs> this is reborn talk. <laughs> um, but feeling her body definitely makes me want another yogi baby, unless Mia changed her body. But whatever body this is, I am definitely into it 
And if this is the kind of body that Yogi uses on all her babies, then I definitely want another Yogi baby even more, because this baby is perfection. We're gonna keep her same onesie on. There we go, baby, you got a, a fresh diaper. Yeah. This is the first onesie I've ever known that has only had two snaps on it. But anyway, I am getting way off topic. Holy crap. Okay, so the tag question from Hello Melissa. No, it was Missy Sue Dolls. Was how do you choose your baby names? And excuse me while I go off topic again to show you that I'm going to put her in this dress from Cat. We're just using all of the uh, cat clothes lately because <laughs> they're cute and I love new things. And I found out that this is a dress. I thought it was a like a sweatshirt type of thing, but it's actually a dress. And looking at her, it is going to fit her supremely. So yeah, this is gonna be totally epic. Although I don't really wanna put it over her head. But you know what? Cause I don't wanna mess up her perfect hair, but I'm not gonna put it over her head. I'm gonna put it under her feet. But anyway, the tag question. So there's no real rhyme or reason to the way I choose my baby names. Um, I just kind of do. Jamari, I had never heard of that name before um, until I saw her and her, she was advertised as Jamari. And I thought, well, that's a really cool, unique name. So I'm just gonna keep that as her name. So I did. And Cadence, I really like the name Cadence. I have a friend named Cadence and I think it's a, a cool name that is sadly starting to be more popular now. I know there's a few babies in the community named Cadence, but I chose it for Cadence. Scarlet, I named after the character Scarlet in the show Nashville. Yes, I like Nashville, which is weird because I wouldn't really call myself a fan of country music at all. Um, I like some country music if it has some soul, like I really like the guy from Rascal Flats, the way that boy does runs, mm, mm. Um, but in general, her bent arms definitely make it hard to get into clothes. But in general, I would say that I'm not a fan of country music, but I do really like the show Nashville and there's a character on there named Scarlet although I spelled Scarlet's name differently I spelled it S-C-A-R-L-O-T-T-E sort of like Charlotte but Scarlet and I thought that that was unique sorry baby I didn't mean to pull your hair um, I thought that was unique, and so, oh, this is so cute. So I uh, spelled it differently. Um, who else, who else? Essence is very special. Um, I think I've told you before, but for those of you who are new to my channel, Essence Nicole is her full name, and Essence is a word that is very special to me. Um, I really enjoy, you know, I, I love the meaning of the word essence, the full, complete, you know, the, the truth of something, the, the essence of something. Um, I am also 
a huge fan of R&B and soul music, and so when I got to go to Essence Festival um, in 2015, I went for my 30th birthday to New Orleans to Essence Festival, and that was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, and there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This baby is so cute in this. Ah. <laughs> oh. Just make sure it's pulled all the way down and good and fits her perfect. <laughs> cute. Cute, 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 cute. I cannot even contain myself right now. Let's pick her up for a minute so y'all can see her face. Oh, baby, baby. Although she might be a little bit too high now. Oh, little T. Little T, you look so cute. I'm going to lie her back down because I think that's how you guys get the best view of her when she's lying down. I'll just make sure that she's in the frame. Uh, let's move you guys back a teeny bit because I feel like it's blurry. There we go. Alright, you should be able to see her in all of her cuteness and I will continue chatting. I should feed her is what I should do. But anyway, so Essence, Essence's name is very special to me because of all that. And also, I decided that if I ever have a real daughter. I wanted to name her Essence. And so I'm not sad that I named a reborn that. Um, I, I still will feel very good about if I ever have a real daughter naming her that. And Nicole, her middle name, is also very special to me because I had a twin sister named Nicole. And she passed away shortly after we were born. We were both, well, yeah, we were both born at, I don't remember if it was 28 or 29 weeks premature. We were supposed to be born in June, end of June, June 25th. And we were born beginning of March, <laughs> March 3rd. I weighed a pound nine, she weighed a pound six. And so, yeah, so I, I decided that if I ever had a daughter that I wanted to name her after my sister. So Essence Nicole is a very special name to me for a very special baby. And let's see, who am I missing? Ashton, little mister, my only boy, a little teeny tiny micro preemie. Ashton I named because I got him at the International Doll Show in Asheville, North Carolina. And my friend, Anna, who was there with me, um, also adopted a baby at the doll show. And she named hers Asher. And I named mine Ashton. <laughs> so we wanted to name our babies after Asheville. <laughs> so... That's how that came about. And then Vivian, I named after Vivian Green, who is a singer who I really like. I think Vivian Green is very underrated vocally. Um, she's one of those neo-soul singers who I don't feel gets the props that she deserves. Um, so yeah, I, I really like Vivian Green, so I named Vivian after Vivian Green, although that was a very spur of the moment decision. When I got Vivian, I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to name her, and then I was thinking, well, I was thinking of singers that I like and trying to think of names, and I thought, Vivian, you don't really hear that name too often anymore, so I named Vivian after Vivian Green. Vivian does not have a middle name, um, 
And then we have Tiandra. Tiandra Brienne. And I'll go through all my baby's middle names after, but Tiandra. Um, I I've never heard the name before. Maybe I came across it somewhere doing something, but I don't know where it came from. As far as I'm concerned, I made it up. <laughs> um but yeah, I, I like it. I like the way I spell it. T A uh, T E A N D R E Teandra. Um Yeah. And Brienne was her original name when she was with Mia. And I wanted to keep her, you know, give her a little homage to her roots. So, Teandra Brienne. So that's all my babies and their names, where they came from. There's no rhyme or reason for it. I just sort of, I really like names. And I think it's fun that part of the process of having Reborns is getting to name them. And since... Our hobby is really for us. We don't have to bounce names off of our significant others. I mean, you can if you want to and whatever, but I don't. I'm pretty sure my boyfriend does not care what I name my babies. Um, he doesn't really say anything about my hobby. I mean, he's, I think, supportive of it, but he doesn't really comment on it or anything, so... I have free range to name my babies whatever the heck I want. <laughs> so I name them whatever the heck I want. <laughs> and yeah, so that is that. And this is your girl, Little Miss T. I think she looks super adorable in this dress. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to change Essence into this other thing that I got from Kat. I might even do that next, actually. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a roll, and there's more stuff I want to talk about. So I'm going to go for now. I'm going to be back with another baby. I know I just changed Essence pretty recently, and I feel like I'm neglecting Scarlet and the preemies. Although Ashton and Vivian, <laughs> there's another topic for another day. I've been searching high and low to try to find clothes especially for Vivian because I literally have nothing for her. She is a 12 inch mini silicone baby and I literally have nothing that will fit her normal preemie size. I know I've been through all this before <laughs> but I'm just telling you right now that the struggle and I'm feeling sort of almost desperate to find Vivian something because it's really starting to affect my bond with her because I can't really do anything with her. I don't really feel right about just cuddling her when she's wearing nothing. That just feels weird to me. I really want to change her and put her into something and I have nothing so it's really affecting my bond with her. I've been searching on Etsy I've searched for micro preemie, I've searched for, um, Nicole's little ones mentioned to me Circo doll clothes. So I've been trying to search up that. And I see a lot of clothes for like 18 inch dolls. I found on Etsy a lady who sells, um, clothes for mini silicones for 11 and 12 inch babies. But she's charging like between $30 and $80 an outfit. And that's in Canadian prices. And I'm like, I love me some Vivian, but I just cannot afford... If I'm going to spend $30 on clothes, I want it to be, you know, at least five pieces. And then I looked on Amazon today and I found a pack of clothes for you and me dolls. Um that it says like five play outfits or something. I'm thinking about getting that, but the struggle to find clothes for Vivian is so real. I, I just, I don't know, and it's really starting to affect my bond because I 
can't really hold her or cuddle her or change her into anything. She just sits in her little basket where she sleeps. And yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not thinking of adopting her out or anything, but I am getting frustrated with how fine it is how hard it is to find clothes. So if anybody knows where and I know that a lot of y'all are in the US, so it's probably different. But if anyone knows, if anyone in Canada, Weeby Dolls, or My Reborn's Cradle, or Crystal, I don't know if Crystal subscribes to my channel, I don't think she does, but Crystal, girl, if you watching this, <laughs> uh, any Canadian Reborn mommies, if you know where to get clothes for 12 inch silicone babies, <laughs> Please, please tell a sister, because my baby girl needs some clothes. And Ashton as well. Ashton, my little boy, he's a, a vinyl reborn. He's, I really wish that I could do a size comparison between Vivian and Ashton, but I don't want to do that because Vivian is silicone and Ashton is vinyl, and I've heard about what they say about how you can't put vinyl and silicone babies beside each other. I don't want to mess up Ashton. So, but they're about the same size. And Ashton has one outfit that he came with, his little sleeper with the little Dalmatians on it. But it's affecting my bond with him as well because I can't change him into anything. And yeah, so these two teeny tiny babies that I have need to find some clothes. But anyway, I really want to change Essence into this cute um, sleep sack that I got from Cat. So we're using all the Cat clothes because <laughs> Cat sent us super cute items. Yes, she did. So I'm going to be back with Little Miss Essence, even though you guys just saw her a few days ago. But I will be back, so I will see you guys on the next one very soon.